Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Everyone, are you looking to create a checkout page on your Wix website? In this tutorial we will guide you throughout the process of setting up a customized a checkout page on Wix so you can follow along and enhance your e-commerce site today. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So guys, in this video, I will need you to go ahead and open Wix.com. After that, click on create new site and make sure that this website is basically an e-commerce site or store site. So here, I'm just going to set up it without chat. So here, online store, click on continue. And then after that, they are going to prepare the dashboard and it's going to be as simple as that. Now, basically, in this video, we are going to talk about the checkout page. So, first of all, here, once we cre created our website, we need to go here. And let's give it a name. So, store tutorial. Click on continue, as you can see here. And then, you already have an online store. Now, I'm just starting out. Continue. Uh, physical products. Uh, how are you offering your products? Online store. And you are all set. Continue to dashboard. And there we go. Now we are on the dashboard and we are ready to go. So let's go to the store and let me just go ahead and design the site. So click here, as you can see, and let's go and design the site. So here, let's choose a customized uh, a template. So let's choose a template that can fit store. So store for um, electronics, for example. And I'm going to choose this template. This template seems pretty clean. So let's go with it. Now we simply have to wait and it should be created within a few seconds. It can take up to like maximum three minutes uh, to generate the whole page for you in case you had a very, very, very slow internet connection. Now, as you can see, this is the website and it has been created successfully. Now, let me just go ahead and show you all the elements and sections that we have. So here we have on the left side, we can add elements. Here we can add sections, pages, site design, add apps, my business, media, and CMS. Let's go to pages and menu. Here, as you can see, guys, we have home, fact, uh, FAQ, uh, channels, etc., etc. But these are sites menu. Let's go with the store pages. These are the store pages. As you can see, product page, shop, cart page, and thank you page. We are going to click on add shop page. And just like that, we are creating the shop page. So we simply have to wait for it. And as you can see, this is the shop page. And what we need to do here is to actually add a section of the checkouts. So I'm just gonna click on add a section. And in this area, we can literally click on this AI generator section type. Let's choose to be, um, for example, a welcome services uh, checkout page and generate section. And now we simply have to wait a little bit. As you can see here, we should have selected the store page, but uh, yeah, no, let's check first of all this one and what are the things that they will give us. So your AI sections are ready to go. Yeah, they didn't give us actually the setup page, so let's go to store. And in the store area, we have export collection, new arrivals, etc, etc, etc. So we try to AI generate here, but yeah, it seems like they do not allow us through here. So let's close this up real quick. Let me just quick edit this one. And first of all, I'm gonna start by managing these two. So I'm going to add a section here. And in the section, let's go ahead and try to put some kind of apps. So here, as we said, we have shop. We don't need that. Let me just uh, delete it. Uh, let's go here, shop page, add page. And let me just uh, go back real quick because they are creating for me the same shop page which I don't really want that page I was just trying to create a black page for my own store uh, but it seems like it doesn't work like that in this area so let's check card page real quick I guess it can be this one 
all right i think yeah it is this one because thank you page is basically the page that comes after the checkout so yeah this is like the thank you page which comes right after the checkout so i think the cart page is basically the checkout page which we were looking for just basically they have changed it to be the cart page somehow but yeah this is in general how we can get to the checkout page but now for for now let's go back to the dashboard and in dashboard itself you will find here settings click on settings and here you will find the checkouts in the checkout section as you can see you will find a lot of details and options that you'll have to actually check before you get to move on so first of all we have customize your checkout so here edit your checkout form add check, uh, custom fields and invite customers to subscribe here checkout form uh, customize delivery and customer details at checkout define which fields are mandatory updates content and add custom fields etc so here custom customize your checkout so I'm going to click right here checkout form edits and here you'll be able to uh, like change and add the most important fields that you will be needed needing uh, for your information so you can deliver the product to your uh, clients uh, for example for me I would need normally their email their phone number so email and phone number basically for confirmation so email simply just so you can send them of course for example thank you for uh, you have your order has been accepted. It will be delivered in a few days, etc., etc. First name and last name, so you can contact them and know their name and phone numbers, so you can get the confirmation. So you can call them, make sure that they are actually the ones who ordered this product and they actually want it to be delivered. You can uh, finish the actual business with them during the call. So uh, yes, you are Mr. X. You want it to be this product color x size x it will be 50 dollars for example you will pay cash on delivery it will be arriving to your door in seven days is that a problem for you guys if not yes this is a confirmation that means you can deliver the product to them so in that specific thing you would need to ask them also your address is uh, xxx city xxx zip code etc etc so you can have all the information that you would need to send them the product without any mistake and at the same time so you can confirm with them their address for example they can make a mistake in the address that can literally make you make your delivery cost even more and they might you might even deliver it to the wrong place and this is what you want to really dodge and simply get it out of the way so this is what you would need normally in your checkout page your first name email phone for contacts and basically delivery details after that here you will have policies like they have to agree to your uh, terms and conditions privacy policy and return policy so you can uh, write them down all here so once the customer actually want to get something back they actually uh, have to be fitting your return policy your privacy policy in terms and conditions basically this is it and of course the policy agreement checkbox uh, you have they have to be uh, agreeing to the policy agreement uh, you can really remove this one check by default you can remove it so it can check by them and here payments you can accept for example invoices gift cards you can go to accept payments and change the payment method so it can suit your business the most and yeah guys this is basically it for the checkout page i hope you enjoyed this video if you do have any more question guys make sure to leave it down below in the comment section so with that being said that was it for today's video guys and see you guys in the next tutorial bye bye